Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading from the 30th of September to the 6th of October 2019 for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Pisces. So I, I am, my voice is still healing. So it is a bit, it is quite rusty. So I'll just see how we go. <laughs> we have five cards at the top, all clarified by a separate Rider Waite tarot deck. Past, present, challenges, advice from tarot, outcome. I've also turned over the bottom of the deck, Pisces. We've got an, a tarot card and also an angel or oracle card too for further clarification. So let's look at those now. The tarot card is the sun. When the sun appears as an overarching message, it's a sign that the things have potentially, the things can now get better. It's a sign of there's a promise of things getting better. Um, it can also be about where you're finding your own natural power, where everything is becoming clear, where you understand the direction that you're taking. It can also be a card of good news, celebration, happiness, joy, and it promises growth and flourishing because when the sun comes out, everything grows. So there's a kind of like prosperity, abundance associated with the Sun card for that reason. And that's why worldly success is associated with the Sun card as well. So beautiful energies. Now we have forgiveness and we also have self-acceptance. So for some of you, it might well be forgiving other people, forgiving yourself coming to terms with situations where you need to finally accept situations or accept yourself as you are. Um, so, powerful message. Now, Pisces, let's look at the past position and invariably, I do put these cards in categories, but some of you are at different life stages, so it's the energies that matter. We have the star and we have the page of cups. Now, the Page of Cups is, it can be about communication, messages, positive messages coming in. It can be to do with love. It can be an uplifting message that just raises your spirits in some way. Um, there's a kind of message with the Page of Cups. If it's not love, or new love, or an offer of love in your life, um, it can be reconnecting to you as well. This is the, the Ace of Cups that the Page holds. So... I kind of feel for some of you, it is about you reconnecting with who you are because the star card is a sense of renewal. It's finding your own self-identity, again, maybe where you might have lost it in the past. There's hope with regard to the star card. And this is a real card of direction as well, where you're getting clarity on where you need to go. Decisions that you need to make in order to move forward. This can be the calm after the storm card as well where when everything's broken down, when um, this is when uh, sometimes when it comes after the tower where truths can be revealed, where falsities can be revealed, or when you're thrown back on yourself and you can almost lose that self-identity, this is where you're finding it back. So Beautiful energies, beautiful energies. Can also be about divine wish fulfillment as well, uh, Pisces. So, lovely card. But now, I think for some of you, you're being asked to reconnect to who you are, to shine in your own individual light. Mm. Because there's a new beginning here, but I feel some of you don't see it. I think confusion, doubt, Mental blocks, maybe, might be stopping you from making clear choices when there's an opportunity here for a new beginning, new starts. Now, that can be to do with your passions and desires in love um, or in projects that you're, you're passionate about. It can also be to do with passions and desires on, sorry, it can also be to do with um, business, career, job opportunities, uh, business um, partnerships, business ventures, all of that kind of thing. The promise of something growing. You can see the wand is sprouting. 
And it is about understanding that we can place our own mental blocks in ourselves. Our mind can play tricks on us. Our emotions can keep us stuck. And it is about getting a grip on your internal emotions, like I said, coming back to you, understanding what's blocking you now in order to move forward to that new beginning. Yeah. Because I feel for some of you, this is your challenge, and this is an interesting one, because we have the Five of Pentacles and we have the King of Pentacles here. Now, as energies, the Five of Pentacles is about lack. Lack breeds lack. If you don't feel worthy, if you don't feel value of yourself, nobody else will give it to you. Um, if you are struggling financially, um, it is about taking the steps that you need to take, looking at your own resources in order to bring about change. This card is also about seeing the bigger picture in situations, not being so consumed by the immediate detail, but taking a step back and getting perspective on situations where you need to get perspective. These people could easily go in and seek shelter in this church, but they don't see it because they're so consumed with their immediate problems. And it's about taking a step back, seeing the bigger picture in order to allow yourself to find solutions because King of Pentacles is a great solution energy. Um, this can also be about understanding you've got the practical resources, the know-how, the skills, experience to bring about worldly success into your life. It's how you apply yourself. It's how, it's how you value yourself, value your experience, your knowledge, your practical abilities. And it's changing that really to bring about positive change. Yeah. It can also be about an opportunity. Again, an opportunity is here. But for some reason, these people don't see it because they don't see the bigger scheme of things not dissimilar to this. So, the advice from Angel Spirits Guides, we have the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. The Four of Pentacles is sometimes when we hang on to things too tightly, we don't allow ourselves to move forward. And there's an element now of persevere, deter, be determined, because change, an ending, success, a breakthrough, all of those kind of things is closer than you think. This is where we have doubts, where we have fears, where our own limitations even can keep us small. And this is where you need to keep pushing forward to bring about positive change. Because I do feel for some of you, For some of you, you're being asked to get balance back in your life, Pisces. This is a massive card of balance. This is a Sagittarian energy. It is reconciling emotions that can be extreme within you. Reconciling them. To allow flow back in your life, to allow yourself to move forward like the flow on that river. Now, this is also a card of Sagittarius, the Archer. And... This card is linked to Jupiter, which is also linked to the Wheel of Fortune. So there's an element here that, you know, all this wonderful expansion and growth, prosperity, good luck, can be on your side. But it is about yourself being, allowing yourself to see the bigger picture, firing the arrow straight into the sky and seeing beyond your immediate circumstances. And you do that by bringing balance in your life. And that's when everything suddenly begins to open up for you, begins to flow for you. And that's the beautiful thing about temperance. Now, the other thing is, for those of you who've been through heartbreak, disappointment, the Three of Swords can be about brutal truths. There's levels to this card. But it can be about deep hurt, deep wounds. It can be in relationships. But it can also be, you know, in the workplace where we form strong relationships, we're in the work a long time, it can be with friendships, wider family. 
this the three of swords is very much about now is the time to allow yourself to get balanced back in things that have, could have pulled you apart internally from within because we have clouds we have rain in the distance here and the swords are about truth and this is the truth setting you free remember the three in tarot is about manifestation this is to fuel you going forward however this hurt came about is now exposed to the elements is ready to be healed and the message is get balance back in your life find inner balance in order to really open up and expand your world and this is how you take the steps to do it we've got the chariot and we've got the eight of pentacles this is you finding your self-worth also being valued in the workplace for what you do certainly in terms of material reward but also acknowledgement by colleagues as well this can also be a card of a person who is chiseling a star onto, onto that pentacle they are slowly changing their energy for the better Sagittarius they are slowly raising their vibration from within and changing their world and the external environment accordingly so changing your life for the better one step at a time and for some of you this is making progress I think when you slowly but surely start focusing on your path on your skills your experience to bring about positive change certainly on the financial front and career front that's when you find things picking up speed because you're beginning to take control of your life and this is very much eyes on the prize victory success is ahead so beautiful energy beautiful energy but very much think bigger get a bigger perspective because there's real promise on the horizon but some of you can't see it right now and I think for some of you there's a promise of everything becoming clear so powerful message I hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe I am sorry about my voice but I did want to get these readings out hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time bye